Hello adventurers! My name is Diogo Guerra and this is Off-Road Of Course. Today I'm super excited because I come to confess that I have done the unthinkable. I went to Leiria a couple of weeks ago to the Vistal Lux motorcycle shop and I test rode the new CF Moto 450 MT. And well, without any warning shots, I decided to order one. So that thing is going to be my next main bike. And in today's video, I'm going to explain exactly why. So the first question I want to answer is, why am I changing bikes on the first place? And, and I think that the, my XT660R, which I have owned for 80,000 kilometers, it's just feeling old to me. Uh, I like the performance, I like the bike. The bike is enough for what I do, to be honest. But I, I, I want excitement, I want to be testing things, I want to be thinking about what's the next suspension setup I should try or, or how can I improve the bike or whatever. And I don't feel that with the XT anymore because I went through that process a long, long time ago. I could improve it even more, but that would be spending a lot of money on an old motorcycle that this just doesn't make that much sense. And the problem is that I couldn't decide if I wanted a, a lighter, more performant bike for off-roading or a heavier uh, adventure bike that would give me more comfort, especially on-road, a little bit of challenge off-road. I was stuck in the middle. And the problem is I am an instructor and a guide. So I'm not paid to have a fast bike. I'm not paid to be fast. I'm paid to be patient. So getting a 690, KTM 690 for instance, it would be a bad move because 99% of the time I'm riding slower than I wanted on terrains that are fairly easy on my tours and all of that. So to get the 690 does not make sense. To get the bigger bike could make sense, but again, because I spend a lot of time with new riders teaching them, there's a lot of stopping, helping, getting off the bike, on the bike, open gate, close gate park the bike on the side, stand on sand, like there's a lot of in and out of the bike which is tiresome on a heavy motorcycle. Just to maneuver the bike on and off and back and forth and whatever, I, I can't be bothered. And there's no real reason to have such a big motorcycle because I'm not riding on road that much and because they cost 15,000 euros. Like I don't see myself spending 15,000 euros on something I'm not fully in love with. I'm just I can't even decide which one I want, like meh. So the CF Moto comes and it comes at 6,500 euros. And that bike has the same weight, the same power more or less, and the same characteristics as the XT660. So I'm, I'm not going, I'm not changing for a better motorcycle. I'm changing for a different motorcycle, which is what I need right now. A bike that on road feels nice enough, interesting enough, and off road, it's not heavy, it's not limiting, but it's still interesting. And it's not the bike that I can just bah! No, I want the bike that challenges me, that forces me to stay sharp, that forces me to uh, ride smoothly. And that at lower speeds still makes sense, St is still interesting at low speeds. And that's why the CF Moto is actually a good match. Let's talk about that. So why the CF Moto? Why is it so interesting to me? To begin with, it's a twin cylinder. I always wanted to have a twin cylinder again. 21 inch rim front, 18 inch rim in the back. That means that they are thinking that bike for off-road use. They are tubeless, the wheels, that's very interesting. The suspension is fully adjustable, the front preload, compression rebound, the rear rebound and preload. Height adjustment, that will be very interesting because when you can lower the bike, the back of the bike, then you can also lower the front or keep it high and give like the bike a different dynamic and, and I'm very eager to, to try that. Uh, that combined with suspension adjustments will probably able that bike to be tuned exactly the way I want it even without changing anything like changing suspensions or whatever. So I'm very curious about that. The, the ergonomics are really well done. I like it. I tested the bike with Cristina, my wife, and she liked to be in the back as a pillion. The, 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 the difference between the seat of the pillion and the foot pegs of the pillion, like the height, it's more than enough. In some of these smaller bikes, there's not enough distance. So when the pillion sits on the bike, like his feet are too up high, so when the rider accelerates, the pillion falls back. But if the, 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 
the, the pillion peg is low enough, then his or her legs have a weight, so the person is much more connected to the bike. And the onboard computer, it's nice, it's modern, colored, uh, it's intuitive. The controls are KTM style, so you have an up, down, left, right arrow thingy, joystick sort of thing, and you control everything with that. Not like the Africa Twin or the BMWs where you have nine buttons on the left and a knob on the right. And there's a secret handshake. And I, I hate that. Um, ah, one thing I like about the CF Moto, for sure. The, the, the ABS and the traction control can be turned off with a simple button while riding. You don't need to stop to reset that thing. You can decide to turn it off and you do it while riding. That, for me, is a game changer. Uh, it's it's mandatory. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad the CF Moto has that. Um, I didn't test the ABS or the traction control, so I don't even know how good they are. But assuming they suck like most of them do, especially the traction controls, um, it can be turned off, so that's fine. And then when I went and tested the bike, um, I really enjoyed the 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 build quality the construction quality and what sold me was the engine sound when i turned on the bike and it sounds just like the t7 like it's a twin cylinder with a 270 degree crank arrangement <laughs> but, and it sounds a lot like a t7 in a mechanical healthy way that thing will probably last a long long time that's what i'm hoping i can be completely wrong about this but that's the feeling that i got when i tested the bike people say that the transmission ratio is very short um, off-road i didn't feel it that way and i have a video showing that I, I stayed in second gear from 15 k's per hour on sand up to 50 50 k's per hour on faster roads so the engine is very elastic Maybe the gears could be a little bit more spaced, but the engine itself, it's very, very, very elastic. And I didn't feel any problems, any issues at low revs. It didn't strike me as a slow or a weak bike at all. Ah, also, some people complain that, uh, or comment, that at 100 km per hour, 6 gear, the bike is already doing 6,000 RPMs. At 6,000 RPMs, that's the beginning of the fun part. So I, it doesn't concern me at all that the bike is already at 6,000 at 100 k's per hour. It will probably, probably go to 140 or 50 kind of easily. And I think it will cruise at 125 k's per hour. Um, what about plans for the future? So what can you expect now that I have this new motorcycle? Well, at first I'm going to try it. I, I, I will work with it. But I already have a lot of things on my head, like a lot of ideas. So there, there's going to be lots of uh, upgrades, mods, hacks, uh, modifications. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of that. I will weight that bike. So one of the first things I want to do and record, make a video about, is the weight. I want the real numbers. I bought already a stronger engine guard because the stock one is very thin. Uh, the tail tidy... Uh, what else? I bought the crash bars because at, uh, I don't know if I'm going to use them, but at least at first I'm going to install them. Also make a video about that, how the installation goes. And uh, because I want to use the bike immediately without any stress. So while I'm getting used to the bike, I want to ride it like I stole it. Um, and probably I'll crash a few times until I get the hang of it. And so the crash bars will help. Well, uh, I think that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you are interested in this bike, then there's going to be a lot of content about it, so stay tuned. Uh, and if so, please don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the thingy, and to share. See you next week, maybe, and happy rides!